Two black men ran up in the Francis Scott Key Mall. Why? I got some thoughts, though, about this problem, and I want you to check it out. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is David Brooks, the Cadillac Counselor, coming at you to tell you a little piece of my mind. And today we got to talk about some just ignorant people trying to steal out of a store. I got more issues than just these two people stealing. I got some problems with the amount that was said about the stolen goods. $22,000? Huh. Let's talk about that one first. Now, Walden Jewelry Store is right on the corner of, of the mall. One of the one of the flagship stores for jewelry that is, and it's right in the middle, right right where everybody's taking pictures, Santa Claus, and all of that. Now, why would they pick this store? Probably because it's the quickest way to get out of the mall. You go right there by the DSW, and you can make it right out. Or you can jump through Value Furniture. You definitely not gonna see but about two people in there, and most of them are all employees. I have bought furniture there, but I ain't mad at them. You feel me? But you got to get the good stuff. Don't mess with the cheap stuff because you will get what you pay for. Just a little side note. But this is the deal. $22,000. Are we for real? I think we are. And I want you to really check this out because I've done some investigating. So I checked out their website. I said to myself, you know, let me see what type of jewelry they got that's $22,000. I didn't find one piece of jewelry on their website unless they got some hidden piece of jewelry that's only in the store, only where these two guys could get to them. So what did they do? They broke into a glass case. That's $2,000. It is what it is. It's your property, so you value it what you want to. But let's talk about this jewelry for a second. Now, I looked at their website, and I went to the engagement ring just to see if what they're working with, you know, just trying to see if they got some good stuff going on. This is what I found. The best piece of jewelry they say they got on their website. I'll pull it up right here so you can take a look at it. It says it's a 14 karat yellow gold princess diamond cluster bridal wedding engagement, five karat. Now let's look a little deeper into this. Every single color on this is a GRH. Now I could see if it was down around a DRE, but we talking about mid grade, and that's the best thing they got. Then you look at the diamond quality. I see nothing but but eyes. I two, I three. So now you tell me that if everything got an eye, the clarity of an eye, how you gonna have? A watch to be $22,000, that's a lot of gold and a lot of diamonds. Unless they got a Rolex in there, but that ain't even enough. People, we really need to really take a look at what's going on. Now, for the sheriff, what he said, that's just a whole nother thing. It's David Brooks, and I just really want to call a spade a spade. Did these kids do something wrong? Definitely. But we got to stop embellishing so that we get them in more trouble. They're already going to get enough just by saying realistically what they did. Walden, come on now. That makes it put a bad taste in my mouth that somebody would say that something was worth more than what it really was. Now, I could be all wrong, but I don't think I am. It's David Brooks, the Cadillac Council, just telling you a piece of my mind. Take it easy.